Welcome back, Warriors. TRADOC Command Dietitian Lieutenant Colonel Brenda Wustios here for more on fueling performance. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can maintain your body and your budget with my tips for good nutrition while you're on the go. You probably eat out a lot. Most Americans do. People are looking for fast, easy, and good tasting foods to fit a busy lifestyle. For those of you who try to make eating well a priority, it can be tough to stay on track, especially when you're not at home. Having limited time or equipment doesn't mean you need to sacrifice nutrient-rich meals and snacks. Whether it's a carryout at a food court, at a sit-down restaurant or a DFAC or warrior restaurant, while you're on vacation, TDY in a hotel or barracks, or perhaps you perform in a high op tempo environment, there are smart choices everywhere and you can still achieve good nutrition while on the go. Here are some things to consider when time and resources are of the essence. When eating out, think ahead and plan where you will eat. Most restaurants or eateries have their menus posted online. So start early and consider what meal options are available. Look for restaurants or carry out with a wide range of menu items. Take time to look over the menu and make careful selections. Some restaurant menus may have a special section or menu icon for healthier choices. Read menus carefully for clues to fat and calorie content. Menu terms that can mean less fat and calories include baked, braised, broiled, grilled, poached, roasted, and steamed. Menu terms that mean more fat and calories include batter dipped and fried, pan fried, buttered, creamed, crispy, and breaded. Choose these foods only occasionally and in small portions. Order the regular lunch size or child size portion if they'll allow. Mega sized or dinner servings likely have more than you need. Americans tend to want more bang for our buck and boy, when it comes to most restaurant meals, we get it. For a lighter meal, order a light appetizer in place of a main course. And it's okay to make special requests, just keep them simple. For example, ask for a baked potato or a side salad in place of french fries and request sauces and dressings to be served on the side. Some restaurants will offer pre-dinner snack upon being seated, so be careful. Hunger can drive you to eat too much bread, crackers, or one of my favorites, chips and salsa before the meal arrives. Ask your server to kindly hold the bread or chips and salsa until your meal is served. Out of sight, out of mind. Think about your food choices for the entire day. If you're planning a special restaurant meal in the evening, have a light breakfast and lunch. Also, limit the amount of alcohol you drink. Recommendations are no more than one drink a day for women and two for men. Alcohol tends to increase your appetite, it provides additional calories, it dehydrates your body and can affect performance. If you're tempted by sweet desserts, order one dessert with enough forks for everyone at the table to have a bite. Also remember you can split your order. Share an extra large sandwich or a main course with a friend and take half of it home for another meal. Boost the nutrition in all types of sandwiches by adding tomatoes, spinach, romaine lettuce, peppers, avocados, or other vegetables. A baked potato offers more fiber, fewer calories, and less fat than fries, if you skip the sour cream and butter. So top your potato with broccoli and a sprinkle of cheese or salsa. At the sandwich shop, choose lean beef, ham, turkey, or chicken on whole grain bread. Ask for mustard, ketchup, salsa, or low fat spreads, and don't forget to add some veggies. In place of fries or chips, choose a side salad, fruit, baked potato, or share a regular order of fries with a friend. Enjoy ethnic foods such as Chinese stir fry with minimal added sauces, or try a vegetable stuffed Mediterranean pita or some Mexican fajitas. So just go easy on the tortillas, sour cream, cheese, and guacamole. At the salad bar, pile on those dark leafy greens such as spinach, romaine, and kale. Add some carrots, peppers, tomatoes, and other fresh vegetables. 
lighten up on those mayonnaise-based salads and other high-fat toppings. Enjoy fresh fruit as a dessert. Eat your lower calorie food first. Broth-based soup or salad is generally a good choice. And follow up with a light main course. Remember to ask for sauces, dressings, toppings to be served on the side. That way you can control how much you eat. And as tempting as it sounds, pass on all you can eat specials, buffets, unlimited salad bars even, because you can tend to eat too much. This can get you into trouble if you're working to maintain an optimal performance weight. Remember, getting more bang for your buck might just mean more bang for your buckle. If you do choose the buffet, fill up on salads and vegetables first. Take no more than two trips and use smaller plates and bowls that hold less food. As for pizza, load up on your favorite pie with vegetable toppings and opt for a thin crust option if it's available. If you add meat, make it a lean ham, a Canadian bacon, some chicken or shrimp. And at the deli, look for a sandwich wrap in a soft tortilla. Fillings such as rice mixed with seafood, chicken, or grilled vegetables are usually lower in fat and calories. And to build a better breakfast sandwich, replace the bacon or sausage with Canadian bacon or ham and order your sandwich on a whole grain English muffin or bagel. Be size-wise about muffins, bagels, croissants, and biscuits. A jumbo bagel has more than twice the calories of a regular size. Try a smoothie even made with juice, fruit, and yogurt for a light lunch or a snack. If you're grabbing dinner at the commissary or grocery store deli, here's an idea. Select a rotisserie chicken, a salad in a bag, and some freshly baked bread. Or try a sliced lean roast beef with onion rolls and mustard-based potato salad with fresh fruit. No matter where you are, always practice good food safety and refrigerate carryout or leftovers if the food won't be eaten right away. Perishable foods left at room temperature for more than two hours should be thrown out. Are you someone who's always eating on the go. Tuck portable non-perishable foods in your purse, your pockets, your briefcase or backpack for an on-the-run meal. Some suggestions are peanut butter, pretzels, crackers, granola bars, pieces of fresh fruit, trail mix, and other single-serve packages of whole grain cereals, crackers, and other items. If your work keeps you in the office all day, Keep single-serve packages of crackers, fruit, peanut butter, soup, tuna in your desk for a quick snack or lunch. If you plan to be away from home for a day or more, here are some things to think about while in your hotel or barracks. By cooking with limited equipment on hand, you can reduce the number of meals you eat out and save money. Cooking in your temporary housing can also help you stay on track with your eating plan and might even make you feel more at home. Whether you follow a structured performance eating plan or just focus on general clean eating, you can succeed if you plan. Most residential style or extended stay hotels and temporary housing have a fridge and a microwave. Luckily, there are plenty of ready to eat, microwavable and shelf stable items that you can buy at the commissary or grocery store to stock your temporary kitchen. With these grocery items and a little creativity, you can assemble nutritious meals and snacks with just a microwave and a fridge. So here are a few ideas. For example, for breakfast, take some low sugar instant oatmeal, top it with some fresh fruit or nuts or some nut butter. Also, you could do an avocado on an English muffin with a microwavable egg and a piece of fruit. You might think about some Greek yogurt with fresh berries and some low sugar granola. Now for lunch, some ideas are perhaps tuna or chicken salad sandwich on a whole wheat uh, bread with spinach and tomato. You could do a salad topped with pre-cooked rotisserie chicken and some vinaigrette dressing. You could also try a veggie or turkey wrap with some hummus. Now for dinner, you could do microwavable rice with pre-cooked rotisserie chicken and some frozen veggies. You could also try frozen fish or pre-cooked chicken with a microwave baked potato and a bag of steamed broccoli or mixed vegetables. Even try building your own burrito with some canned beans, microwavable rice, frozen or steamed veggies, and cheese. 
As I mentioned earlier, there's some great snacks that you can take along. So think about trail mix, mixed nuts, pretzels with some peanut butter, baby carrots and hummus, tuna snack packs with crackers, microwave or bagged popcorn. You just wanna choose the light salt and light butter varieties. And as always, fresh or frozen fruit with some Greek yogurt. Good nutrition is possible when you're on the go. You can keep your body and your budget on track by planning your meals and snacks for the day and by remembering the tips that I've just shared. Safe travels and see you on the road.